Imagine sipping your holiday eggnog from a floating bar just yards from a sandy beach. On the island of St. Vincent, a tropical paradise blends holiday tradition with exuberant island customs to create an unforgettable Caribbean Christmas. 100 miles west of Barbados, the islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines are now part of the British West Indies. But 18th century forts harken back to a time of constant colonial battles between France and England over this lush and mountainous island. St. Vincent's 4,000-foot-tall volcano, La Soufrière, has helped make it an ideal place for banana, mango, and coconut plantations. Because of the volcano and the volcanic soil, our land is very fertile. So we usually say you can grow a rock in St. Vincent and the Grandines because the land is so fertile. So if you're dreaming of a warm weather Christmas, it's a safe bet you'll love St. Vincent, where the temperature only varies 18 degrees throughout the entire year. <laughs> I think it's minus 23 degrees somewhere in the world tonight. And it's a balmy tropical evening. Sometimes we get a blue moon at Christmas. And you could imagine having a candlelight dinner under the tropical stars with a blue moon. It's just fantastic. have great weather the tropical breeze is lovely the water is nice it's 81 degrees 82 degrees right now with clear turquoise water that warm Christmas is the perfect time to try out scuba diving walking around land is great but underwater you see things that nobody else sees dive shop owner Bill Tews has lived on st. Vincent for more than 20 years a well-known and beloved fixture of the community his face was put on a st. Vincent stamp Dive St. Vincent offers a comprehensive introductory session for beginning divers. The holiday spirit is so strong on this island, there's even an underwater creature known as the Christmas tree worm. They look exactly like Christmas trees. As a matter of fact, they're, they're circular. They point at the top and they come in all colors. But the warmest thing about St. Vincent is not the weather or the water, but the generous hospitality of its island residents. We have the friendliest people anywhere in the world. Um, our responsibility is always to make people who come to our country feel welcome. When you come to St. Vincent and Grenadines, you do not feel like your visitor. You feel like if you're part of the population. So it's not surprising this welcoming island goes all out for the holidays, starting with their whimsical displays of holiday lights. It's a new tradition to St. Vincent, but one which the people here have embraced with their trademark enthusiasm. It started a few years back and it has caught on like fire. Not just homes, but throughout the communities. We have about 70 communities that will be lighting up for Christmas. The most unique and memorable Christmas tradition on St. Vincent is the Nine Mornings Festival that runs from December 16th to Christmas Eve. Each morning at 4 a.m., locals gather in the center of town to welcome in the dawn with music and dancing. It's an event that happens only in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. No other country in the world do something of a similar nature. You have steel bands, you have choirs. You have dance groups, uh, you have people engaged in all kinds of fun activity. Between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m., you, you find people right across the country leaving their beds that early in the morning to engage in these wide range of activities. The Nine Mornings Festival evolved from a colonial Christmas custom. Over 200 years ago, plantation owners would bring their slaves and servants to church on Christmas Eve. Of course, these slaves could not go into the church and they would have to stay outside. While they're outside, as Africans, they found ways of entertaining themselves. They began singing, and, and soon you had a tradition developing out of that, which gave rise to the nine morning celebrations. Everyone in the community is invited to participate in the performances, regardless of their ability or experience. It's not really to show off your singing talents or any other talents you have. It's just to go up and enjoy yourself, sing, to get the audience and the crowd involved in it. 
Young and old alike show off their talents on stage. We really love to involve children in the activities because, you know, it's good to get them up there and people are a lot more sympathetic with children when they don't perform to the highest standards. In addition to music and dance performances, Nine Mornings also features unusual contests like this one. We had a 25-pound bag of rice and we invited some guys on stage. And the object is to see who could have um, held up the bag using just one finger, the longest. And the great thing about it is that the, the smallest guy, the one you thought could not have got it done, he held it up forever and he could have kept on going and going. You know, while the big strong guy's um, hands finally came down, he just held it up there, you know, and the crowd was there urging him on. You never know what's going to happen. You could never predict or anticipate. Who would have known that this little guy would have beat all those other big guys? For the people of St. Vincent's, Nine Mornings is the ultimate community celebration for their favorite holiday. You see people you haven't seen in years. You hear people you didn't know that they had a voice that they could sing, and you hear them singing these carols. It's, it's so wonderful. You have to be here and live a Vincentian Christmas. <laughs>